so hello everyone welcome to another uh, video okay so in this video i am going to explain about jni stratagem program okay so mainly jni stratagem program what is it and what uh, you have to do there okay so mainly jni stratagem program is a part of google cloud arcade program okay not directly but it is a uh, whatever syllabus will be there for jni stratagem program uh, it will be uh, taken from uh, Google Cloud Arcade program. Okay, as you can see uh, in Arcade program, uh, there will have some uh, skill badges or normal game badges. So mainly there will have something like that in syllabus for this program. Okay, so uh, JNS Stratagem program is hosted by uh, GDG on campus lead. Okay, mainly GDG on campus like which was known as GDAC okay in any campus like if uh, in any campus if have having uh, you know something GDG on campus lead then uh, they have a chance to organize about this event okay this event is mainly hosting by Google but uh, this is the uh, mainly you can say GDG on campus is a uh, connection between uh, to build or to organize this event okay so yeah uh, in this uh, program what you have to complete okay so what is jns stratagem program you can find in this document in the description of this video okay so you can just uh, check it out okay and you can just read it uh, those all as well okay so what is the jns stratagem program is there are mentioned about okay like uh, it's uh, gives you know uh, their uh, cloud skills okay mainly using google cloud platform services okay exploring cl compute engine bigquery uh, cloud storage vertex ai and there will have a lot of uh, like a lot of products of google cloud using those uh, you can build uh, you know something uh, which will uh, you know develop your skills in uh, future uh, to build any projects or any uh, you know problem solving okay uh, cases okay so yeah that's it about and you can also find a lot of things that there are mentioned about the jni strategy program so you can just read all the points from there okay will there be any swags yes there will have some swags for uh, participants but there will have some uh, you know restriction not properly restriction but they have to follow the uh, process they have to follow the uh, you know the uh, the steps uh, what uh, they have to do for this program to be eligible for swags okay so there will not have uh, swags for everyone okay uh, mainly there will have first come first serve basis swags distribution okay if you complete all the syllabus for this program uh, soon like as soon as possible the program will be started if you complete all the syllabus uh, very soon then your swags opportunity like the chance of getting swags will be increased as well okay and one more thing uh, the swags distribution will be uh, you know the swags distribution will be processed in the gdg on campus okay like in which campus uh, the GDG on campus is uh, GDG on campus is uh, holding or you know organizing from this campus you have to take the your swags like if you are in uh, if you are eligible for uh, swags okay and yeah uh, there would not have any something like for from arcade like uh, like such as arcade uh, you have you have to put your address and just uh, you have like you will get it by your doorstep okay that would not be happened for this program you have to take it from this uh gdg on campus uh okay or college and also you can do it one more thing you can just give your address and yeah we also can do it by uh via your delivery uh you know courier okay then you have to pay the delivery charges from yourself okay and yeah one more thing you should have to mention this is uh, hosted by gdg on campus so as you know we are a normal community so we are collaborating a lot of uh, a number of 
GTG on campus leads and mainly uh, this will be helpful for everyone like for our community members okay and who will join this program they will take the opportunity advantage for this program okay and they also will have a chance to win the swags yeah that's it about and now let's move on the what you have to complete okay so uh, you can see there are mentioned about the syllabus okay and this this document is mainly uh, made previous cohort uh, the previous cohort is happened like was happened in uh, i guess october okay 2024 uh, so uh, after one year there are happening GNS stratagem again and yep there will have like you can see there are uh, 15 la skill badges are there present for this previous cohort okay but for this cohort there the syllabus are not uh, published till now okay the syllabus will be published soon by google team okay and i will update those all syllabus in this pdf when the pub, uh, syllabus will be published by google team okay so what what will be there mainly they will have uh, skill badges okay and one more thing they will have a uh, arcade game okay you can see uh, that uh, was happened in diwali in arcade previous year that was in october of 2024 okay so there will have a uh, easiest arcade games uh, level 3 okay they will have okay so you have to complete those skill badges and the skill badges count i guess there will have 15 to 20 skill badges most probably for this year uh, for this cohort not sure but i am just guessing and yeah there will have one arcade badges as well so in this skill badges there will have something uh, five to seven uh, labs okay and also in some skill badges you can find three or four labs as well uh, it depends uh, about the labs uh, sorry about the skill badges uh, difficulty okay and in the arcade badges there will have eight labs easiest labs okay. so you do not need to worry about that you can find all labs solution in the youtube available and also you will find all labs process process step by steps in the lab uh, description as well so you do not need to worry about that so uh, that's it about the syllabus the till now uh, the registration process is going on okay so yeah that's it about the syllabus the syllabus will be published soon and i will update the all syllabus in this document just yeah that's it about in another video next another video i will explain about uh, how to register for this uh, program okay like what will be there uh, there will have mainly us uh, google from you have to fill and before the filling the google form what you have to do uh, like what you have to take from prerequisite site okay so i will explain it in, in another next video so and okay one more thing i have missed you can find the swags picture okay uh, this is the previous cohort uh, swags i already mentioned uh, this was uh, for previous cohort okay okay there have a lot of things uh, in the swags okay I, as i mentioned restriction okay so let me zoom it so you can find there are two uh, tr is mentioned for last cohort it was two cohort uh, two tr okay but for this cohort uh, there will have three tr okay three swags tier you can find there are mentioned in the tier two uh, let's start start with uh, tier two enable 60 students to complete all campaign courses and host and uh, blah blah okay so uh, 60 students enable so what does that is mean made so mainly let's example for xyz uh, college okay so from xyz college you also will be applied for it because you are our uh, community member okay so you are also eligible for apply uh, for the program okay so uh, from let's example uh, for xyz uh, campus uh, the uh, highest uh, 200 students can apply for it okay like 200 uh, students are will be selected for this program okay but 
one more thing you will be selected by google team so you have to keep it mind you have to uh, like if you fill the fill the form for uh, like if you register for this event then there are not any surety that you will be uh, selected for this event okay if 200 students are enrolled for this uh, or selected for this uh, program then uh, if 60 students first 60 students whoever will be completed the all syllabus whole syllabus okay will be coming okay the syllabus will be coming for this code so uh, whatever uh, syllabus will be there whoever whoever top 60 students will be completed they will get this wax participant wax i think you got it this is for tier 2 if 60 students are completed all uh, all syllabus within the timeline okay then the first 60 students will get this wax same thing uh, for 80 students if uh, more than it more than 60 if uh, 6, 80 at least 80 students completes uh, all the syllabus as soon as possible okay and top 80 students whoever will be completed soon all uh, syllabus as soon as possible they will eligible for the this swags okay this i think you understand about tier based swags eligibility okay now let's move on for this cohort i already mentioned this two tier was for previous code but for this uh, cohort there will have three tier okay so i think you already can understand about that if there will have three tiers then the count of the students will be also increased like whatever for tier one that is 100 students uh, sorry that is 80 students for this cohort there will have like the students counts will be increased like at least 100 students or 100 plus students will be uh, eligible for this type of swags but uh, the swags will be uh, changed okay the same swags would not be given because for this cohort the swags will be changed and the swags will be premium on okay for sure okay so whatever i mentioned for this cohort tier one will be uh, Tier one swags will be changed as well, and the student count also will be changed for sure. Okay, because as I mentioned, there will have three swags tier, and tier two, uh, tier two also will be changed. Whatever there are a sixty, it may be can uh, seventy or eighty students count will be there. So there will have a chance to win more swags. Like more students can earn those swags because the count will be increased. Okay. So uh, for t so, uh, tier 3 maybe there will have something 50 or 60 students counts will be there if 50 or uh, 60 students completed all then uh, they will eligible for uh, tier 3 swag so tier okay so mainly from whatever I mentioned from 200 uh, participants whoever are selected for will be selected for this uh, program whoever will be completed whoever will be uh, will be top 100 or let's example let's take example 100 who will be in top and who will be completed all the syllabus as soon as possible they will have a chance to win this type of swags so i think you understand about that all students all 200 enrolled students will not be eligible for swags okay those who will uh, uh, complete it, those all uh, as soon as possible they will have a chance to win those swags okay and as i mentioned the swags whatever you can see all swags will be changed okay and there will have uh, better swags and premium swags as well for three swags tier okay and you can see this one i think you have a question about that so these are not uh, for participants these are for mainly gdg on campus leads so yeah you do not have to take worry about that that uh, can i get it so you would not because this uh, swags only for gdg on campus campus leads okay so yeah i think you understood about that uh, yeah that's it about the swags eligibility i think you got my point if you still have any doubts just uh, ask me in whatsapp group or and as well you can drop it in our comment section of this video okay and one more thing join our community join our group okay uh, for this 
uh, cohort for this JNI study jump cohort 2025 okay I will add this group link there okay just click on this and you will head over to the group link and just join it and to get updated and to get part of this like to take part of this uh, program okay and also to be eligible for the swags so, yeah that's it about uh, i think i completed every points and thanks for watching guys and yeah if you have still have any doubts any question just uh, let me know in the comment section okay and you also can ask your question in the whatsapp group our team will be there they will help with that so yeah that's it about thanks for watching this video i think you are so exciting to participate for this uh, program thanks for watching have a good day guys